Hey Joyfuls, welcome back to my channel, Joy Salve here, and you are still watching Joy Salve in Poland vlog series. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the drawbacks of being a factory worker. This video aims to set your proper expectations about working as a factory worker. But before anything else, if you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to click on that like and subscribe buttons below for future updates. Now, let's get started. I just want you to know that I have worked as a factory worker for three months in a meat processing plant. In case you will be assigned in a different kind of factory, then at least I was able to give you some idea on what to expect. Okay, some might be better, some might be worse. So I used to work in an office setup, like I have computer or laptop in front of me and I just sit the whole day um, doing quality checks and other things. So I never really imagined working as a factory worker. But then until, until the opportunity to Poland came, I grabbed the chance. Since I didn't have any experience about factory work, but of course I know that it's gonna be really tough, I expected the worst. And I mentioned that I didn't know what to expect, right? Even the first day, I don't have any idea at all. But then, since it's a skill job, I know it's gonna be really different as to what I got used to. So that's why I compiled five drawbacks to give you the idea on what to really expect. So the first one is, there is a 15 minute break. Actually, there are two 15 minute breaks. So one break is in the morning around 10 o'clock if the shift starts at 7 o'clock. So the break is 10 o'clock to 10.15. And then you will have your lunch break at around 1 o'clock and that will be for 15 minutes again. Yes, it's that short because you are being paid for that. Not like if you're working in the office, you have one hour break, which is not part of your salary. But of course, in the factory, every hour, every minute counts. So that's why they want to maximize and that's their rule. So what can we do about it? Number two, you will be standing in the entire shift. Yes, you can only sit down on your break time. And that's it so once you report for work or once you start your duty you will be standing there until your next break time until the lunch break and then until you go home so that means the boots that you're going to wear must be comfortable well in my case i chose big boots so it won't squeeze my feet well at first maybe in my first month i got really tired standing the entire shift but after that I got used to it already. Just a tip, wear a comfortable pair of boots. Okay, number three, you will be carrying heavy boxes and what I mean by that is you will be carrying around 10 kg to 20 kg or it could be even more or it could be even less as well but yes it's part of of being a factory worker. Like I mentioned, I used to carry heavy boxes um, full of turkey breasts, full of um, turkey legs, and a lot more. Of course, if it's too much heavy, I have to ask help from someone. Um, there are also guys who can help you, but of course, you have to remember that most people there work per kg, so which means their salary or their wage depends on their output, so they have to really focus on their work. And you have to really be independent, okay? Fourth, so when you're working in a meat processing factory, you have to expect that the temperature is going to be freezing cold. Of course, they don't want to spoil their products or the meat. So it's like you are inside the freezer. That's why you have to make sure that you're wearing a pair of thermal clothes, maybe a sweater and a pair of pants, and maybe another sweater or a pair of pants. You know, like three layers plus the personal protective equipment. 
so for sure you will feel warm but when i was working in the factory i just wore like two layers sometimes i wore one layer it depends but of course it was freezing cold <laughs> and i suffered actually i felt um you know later that day i felt really tired so it's up to you you can combine your clothes so you will feel warm all right number five you will have a limited water intake so it depends on the factory but in my factory or in the factory i used to work in i limit my water intake that's because of course when you go inside the factory or the production floor you will have to wear your plastic apron and the gloves and everything else okay so every time you go to the washroom you have to punch out and you have to remove, of course, remove the plastic uh, gloves, apron, metal gloves, and a lot more. And then you have to go to the washroom, remove your PPE or the uniform before you go inside the washroom. So it takes a lot of effort just to go to the washroom. And so what I did was I limit my water intake. So every time I get home, I drink a lot of water and even on my rest days. Okay, so but at least now you know and it's up to you on what you should do in order to address the issue okay so there you have it guys i hope i was able to give you the idea on what you should expect if you're going to work in a meat processing factory so once again everything that i mentioned is based on my experience sharing this information will help you at least set your expectations on certain things, especially on the job that you chose. So just an additional information. Yes, you have to expect that your body will be really numb, will be really sore in the first few weeks. Because that is, of course, if you haven't experienced working in the factory, then your body will have to adjust a lot. And you have to remember that I experienced that too. And what I did was I just made sure that I rest. I have a good night rest like eight hours every day. That's why the next day I get amped up again. You know, I survived working in the factory for three months. But let's not forget those who are working in the factory for more than a year now. You know, like Bong... Mia, Dana, um, Lorian, and a lot more. See, they are most of them are ladies, and they were able to survive working in the factory, and I have so much like respect to them. And I just can't believe that they were able to survive it. But yes, they did. So I guess it's just it depends on our perspectives. For sure they become exhausted too because they are humans and i just hope that i'll be able to ask them in the near future as to their secrets and how they survived working in the factory okay but that's it for now i hope i was able to share with you some things you need to know and you need to expect when you're going to work as a factory worker here in poland so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye!